All right, guys, one, two, three, toy back again. Now, this is really cool. This is Chris Perez. Now, Chris Perez is one of the product managers here, yep. um, and he does some really cool stuff. And one of the things you guys asked about was Dats V2. You noticed that Dats is no longer available. And if you've been watching the channel, you know it's one of my favorite pieces of measurement equipment that you can get. I think it's one of the best values. You guys are coming out with something new, right? Yeah, yeah. We've got a, we've actually getting really close to bringing Dats V3 in stock. Uh, pretty much everything's finalized. Just uh, it's a little more involved than the other one. It's got a extruded metal case and everything. So we're, we've just got the cases finished. But this is the prototype that he's got here. Um, physically, there's tons of improvements just with the, since you can now disconnect the USB cable and replace the test leads and stuff, where a lot of people would roll over the old DATS V2, you know, just roll over the cables with their, um, with the chairs and stuff, and that would make, kill the DATS V2. Well, this thing, if you do happen to hurt a cable, you just replace it, it's good as, good as new. Now, um, you also have these, uh, right here, is that for yeah, this alligator is, clips, or? Yeah, these are for, um, these little tabs are for uh, calibration resistor. Uh, oh. So you don't have to worry about losing the old the resistor like the old version. It's now internal. In, but it, it also, we've increased the power. This one will do about twice the power output. So uh, you can actually test the drivers with a little bit higher level. Or um, another neat option that it's got is it'll run a level comparison test where you can make it adjust the level in steps, and it will run the impedance sweep one after another after another, increasing the level, and then plot them all on one screen so you can compare, so you can see any changes. Now, that's really cool. Now, my guess is that this is going to be a whole new software along with hardware then. Um, is that eventually. right? Eventually. Uh, okay. Yeah, the first one is just going to, the software is going to look real familiar to begin with, but uh, with that new level test. But we've actually got a lot of other stuff that, because of the extra power and some new tricks we found out, it's, there's going to be a lot more capabilities to this in the future, so it will come with a new software suite. Now, I know a lot of guys are really excited about your guys' new products because you guys are always coming out with some really neat, unique products. Now, I've always loved Dayton Audio. I think that you guys make some really high-quality stuff, and you don't just do Dayton Audio. I know you guys do a lot of other brands. Okay. Uh -huh. My question is, are there any other products that you can tell us about that you guys are excited about as well? Yeah, from Dayton Audio, we've got a new line of subs. Essentially, it's going to be a new premier line of subs. It'll be a step above our Ultimax. It's, uh, it'll be the reference HE for high excursion. Oh. Uh, it'll be a 10, 12, and 15. Again, we've had a few kind of teasers out there. Hopefully, a prototype of the 12 will be shown up today, the finalized version. Um, and they're really going to be awesome. Uh, extremely high excursion. Uh, just everything you would expect. All kinds of th three shorting paths on it, uh, low inductance. They're they're going to be pretty awesome drivers. That's really exciting. I'm actually really excited to hear that. Now, uh, any other products that you have coming out that you're excited about, or is that pretty much all you can go into detail um, right now? No, we've also got some other. They're going to be in our Epic line also, but much more cost-effective than our current Epic drivers, which are fantastic, but just the technology thrown in them makes them really expensive. These are going to be essentially taking conventional driver design about as far as we can go. Um, it's going to have what they call a MAG motor where it's... Uh, it, it uses multiple magnets to direct the magnetic field, um, to essentially center it right on the voice coil, uh, to give you better, essentially better linearity over the excursion of the driver. They're really going to be fantastic. Incredible low end out of smaller drivers, but also useful well up into the you know two-way type frequencies. I'm only disappointed that you saved that for last. Like that oh. seems like something like really exciting right away. Oh, those things are awesome. Oh yeah, those They're sound a unreal. Further out though. Yeah. That's awesome. All right, guys. Thanks, Chris. I appreciate hey, it. No thanks problem, for your Nick. time. Uh -huh. All right, guys. Have a great day.